Hello everybody. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I am going to cut to the chase. I have a really, really chunky haul to show you guys today. So chunky that I ran out of my typical ivory hangers and I had to put in some black and plastic ones, which is like a mute point, right? But it, it really, it's really bothering me. So I really got to get this stuff processed. Um, I sell anything and everything on Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark. Um, I mainly focus on clothing in this channel. I'm also playing a really dangerous game here because my phone has like 18% battery and I'm actually taping on my phone. So I do want to kind of cut through this quickly. Somebody asked me if my Goodwill bins, meaning the local one that I always go to, if they also have raw donation or if it's all store pulls. So some of you know this raw donation in the reseller community just means it has not been sorted. Uh, it has not been put out on the storefront. It has not been priced individually. They get raw donations when Goodwill has too many donations. They don't have enough employees to go through them. Uh, they, it's just not feasible for them to go through all the all of the donations. Then they will start putting basically overstock donations that will go to the bins depending on your location. My bins gets that overstock, those raw donations. Um, praise the glob because I don't I don't know if I'd even go to the bins if it was all store pulls, honestly. Why is this important on this video of all videos? Because I had a huge dress haul that probably paid like two weeks worth of bills for me um, from the bins and they were raw donations and I can gather that by using like my better judgment because there were a ton of dresses at the bins that got put out um, and they were all inside out and they were all the same size. That told me somebody was cleaning out their closet. They were quickly trying on dresses to see if they fit or if they still liked them and then quickly pulling the dresses off and like throwing them into a to be donated pile. And I got that pile before anybody else. So this first dress here is Sailor Sailor by Just Madras. Um, so not a brand that's like popped out to me in my head, but this was inside out. Um, and this was, I found this one after I found the other inside out dresses. So I knew it was something worth looking into because it came from that same, you know, closet. Um, and it is, it seems like a pretty decent brand. Uh, I'd put it right around with like Lily Pulitzer where people kind of look at the pattern. So this has the nautical ropes. Um, probably just going to list this at like 26. This is a Rebecca Taylor dress. Oh, this is totally relevant. Somebody in my last video commented, oh, I need to get back to you. I don't remember your name. She said, "You has anyone ever told you you look a lot like Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> and I'm sure most of you guys don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but I had this huge spiel like two years ago on my Instagram stories about how my entire life I've had random people say I look like Scarlett Johansson and like it is the most uplifting thing anybody can tell me and when she said like I lost it my fiance had to deal with me sitting across the couch from him with a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos in my crotch saying hey how's it feel to be dating Scarlett Johansson <laughs> like all night long after that <laughs> so yes people have told me that and you are literally my angel because I kind of see it but she is like a 10 out of 10 so don't even get me started okay that should have been in the intro because and yes I just segued just for one comment because that like blew my head up when I read that comment um okay anyways this Rebecca Taylor dress was obviously inside out this is actually a really nice like picnicky dress this I think I will list for around 50 um this is a Rebecca Taylor dress also this just I know from like the get-go it kind of like gives me like Rue 21 vibes right like I'm, am I the only one or like Deb <laughs> you guys went to Deb um but this is actually a really nice heavy very intricate dress the beadwork is actually very very pretty um so this is a, a Rebecca Taylor dress as well this one I'm going to list around 60 to 70 because of all the detail um and it has that nice plunge back with the elastic which is nice so this is a brand that's been on my bucket list Cynthia Ashby um I don't my bucket list is like pretty reasonable I know a lot of people will put like Balenciaga and Prada and stuff like that on their bucket list but I do not live in the type of area for where that is like I'm just going to be making a bucket list of things that are never going to happen so I like to start more reasonably and Cynthia Ashby is reasonable this is um like a nice pa a smooth patchwork dress I think I will list this around 50 um this is Molly Bracken which I mean it can be a bread and butter brand 
Um, this is just a tank top, but I really liked the floral on this. So, and it was at the bins. So I'm going to list it around like 15 bucks on Poshmark. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces. Um, more special than all of the inside out dresses that I found. This is a 1950s swimsuit. Look at these adorable little buttons on the back. Um, so it, it obviously it's a one piece, but look at all the detail down here. Uh, so anyway, really quickly, I want to cap with this. In 1950s swimsuit collectible things where they start, like they lean onto the collectible side, which this would, these will go exclusively on Etsy. Um, so this actually has a shaped bust. And I know women have always had beauty standards, but I mean, this is ridiculous. This is like the shaped bust because this is, I mean, this is when you still wanted those really perky, like triangle torpedo tits. Um, wow. Has anyone used that term before? Or did I just coin it? Anyway, this um, padding does not feel like normal padding that you have today. This feels like a cast um, so that it does not lose its shape. Like it doesn't matter what your boobs are shaped like. This is what it's going to look like when it's on your boob because this is like almost like a solid entity. It's not a pad. It's like a cast over your boobs. So I mean, beauty standards have come a ways from that because that's ridiculous. I cannot imagine walking around in the hot ass of summer with casts over my boobs. That would suck. Okay, so this is a nice Patagonia piece that I found at the bins. I restored it because it was splattered with latex paint. I was able to get the paint off with a sweater shaver, a razor blade, and some rubbing alcohol. Thank you to everyone on Instagram who answered my stories when I was asking for advice on this piece. Oh, the swimsuit, I don't know what I'm going to list it for yet. The Patagonia 45. Um, I just, I do have to brush this out a couple more times a little bit. Oh, this is, oh, you guys, this is awesome. This is a 1986 Budweiser Clydesdales Oktoberfest shirt. Uh, it, single stitch, as as far as you can get single stitch because it, you know, you can't look at the, uh, can't look at the sleeves. So you got to look down here. Um, this is, oh, you got, I don't even know what I'm going to for you. I haven't looked it up. I found it at the bins. Super cool find. I found a Toon Squad, is that Toon Squad? Yeah, that's from Space Jam though, right? Oh no. Um, and then on the other side, it's the Monstars. You guys remember the Monstars? This is a pillowcase, but they just released that um, Looney Tunes movie. So this is definitely the right time to find something like that. Uh, these I found at the bins. These were the inside out dresses. Um, I'm just going to refer to them as the inside out dresses because you know it came from that closet. Two reformation pieces. They're the exact same, just different colors. So my first time finding reformation dresses, I have found their jeans, I think. I don't know what I'm going to list these for yet, but when I saw these at the bins, I did like, I got myself a Taco Bell $5 box on my way home. Like I was, I was listening to Kenny Chesney and I don't even listen to country. Like I was just really feeling myself on the way home because of these dresses. So that is, that's really cool. Um, another bins find Pearl Izumi. This brand is on my bucket list forever. Um, and then now I find it quite a bit. So I don't know why I couldn't find it for three years and now I find it all the time. I still pick it up. Um, it's a cycling brand. This is actually Pearl Izumi for women. I'll list this around 25. Ted Baker London. This is another inside out dress, which now that I actually look, this is weird because most of her, these dresses were in size four. This was size six petite and this one's two. But I wear small, medium, and large. I wear size 6, 8, 10, 12. It literally depends on the brand, so I'm not going to think too deeply into it. It's also possible that it was like a mother and her teenage daughter um, cleaning out their closet. Why does it matter? <laughs> you guys just want to see the dresses. Ted Baker London. Um, so this is actually a really nice hefty little dress. This reminds me more of like a, um, maybe a bridesmaid style. Or just, I would just wear that to a wedding in general, honestly. But it is cute. Ted Baker London. Oh, I'm going to list that around 40. Adeline Ray. So this is a brand that I found a couple of times and I left it behind. It's an anthropology brand, but it's like a lower tier, tier anthropology um, brand, if that makes sense. You know, it's not like Acme and Kin or where it has like a cult-like following, but I'm obsessed with the embroidery work on this. Um, and this is a very, this has not um, really gone down on the trends list as far as like this type of folky, artistic embroidery with the florals gonna list this around 30 I found same trip with the inside out dresses I found a huge bin full of old like 1980s 1990s college uh fraternity and um 
what are these called? Just regular college logo sweaters, whatever you want to call it. Um, Harvard, I mean, come on, that's awesome. Uh, probably going to list that at like 25. Oh, this is another brand that I love finding. I found it three times now. Girls from Savoy. Now, I just sold a Girls from Savoy dress and I sold it for $23 and it really hurt because I'd sat on it forever. So I finally just sold it for $23. However, their dresses can go much, much higher than that, depending on the dress and the pattern, obviously. Um, this one, I think I'm going to list around 40 to begin with. I found a lot of free people sweaters in the same trip, um, all size extra small and small. So these all have, they're a mix of alpaca, wool, cashmere, mohair, uh, very like special materials, which is awesome. And they're all at the bins. There's the first one. This one I think has mohair. This one was the cashmere. This one was the alpaca. Uh, this one was the wool. So they're all basic sweaters, um, except this one has, this one's actually a sweater cardigan with the cute buttons at the front. These I'm going to price between 25 and 40. Why so high? Because of the material. The alpaca, the cashmere, and the mohair will do better, even though they're plain, than the one that has the buttons because these are special material. This is just wool which can be considered a special material depending on the piece you're selling, but if we're gonna do it in categories, these three up there. Okay, this is a Patagonia organic cotton top. Uh, I picked this one up because as plain as it looks, it does have the slouchy fit, which is nice. Gonna list this one around $18. This is Disney by Lauren Conrad. Um, it's a collection by Lauren Conrad, which some of her pieces are collectible, even though they don't retail for a lot. I think it was like sold at Kohl's or something like that. They never retailed for much, but her, you can still get, you know, 20 bucks for those pieces. So I still pick them up. Oh, this one's super cool. This is Baba Zuzu, which is 100% recycled wool. It's actually called reclaimed wool. Um, and their socks and hats and stuff like that can sell for like 20 bucks used. So the dress... I'm going to list this around 70, which seems high, but considering um, what the accessories sell for, I'm definitely going to start it higher. This is the mountain. So they are known for their all over print shirts where you see the people with like the lions or the pugs and it takes up the whole shirt. This is the same company. A, in a perfect world, every dog has a home. Going to make me cry because I really like dogs. I'm not even kidding. Like when I first picked this shirt up, I, I'm tearing up right now because I hate thinking about dogs that don't have homes. Like, that is one thing that just gets me. <laughs> and I know it's ridiculous and I hate myself for it. Um, this is a brand new with tags. Cup she. Oh, my God. Where are the dogs coming from? Hi, girls. You want to say hi to your viewers? Hmm? You want to say that you came up to see mommy? Well, she, you interrupted her whole video? Say, that's okay. Say, we'll take a break. And then Yoko wants to say hi with her eye boogans. You want to say hi, Yoko, to your viewers? Say hi, Yoko. Say, I'm a beautiful girl and I've never done anything wrong in my life. Ah, oh, okay. Got the dogs. They they know. That's insane, by the way. That they just happen to come up and make me feel better. Okay, now I feel like a complete loser for doing that on camera. But I really cannot talk about animals or anything that involves little children without crying okay I'm not pregnant I've just always been overly sent like sensitive and hormonal my entire life um where is the tag this is a brand new with tags cup she dress oh it's way down here it's not a dress it's a swim cover um so their stuff doesn't retail for a lot but it's brand new and it does have a cult like following I think over on Amazon which is <laughs> ironic um but anyway Probably, I'm, I have to look up what this sells for, but I'm guessing around like 20, 25. Another Maeve dress, which are my bread and butter babes. Um, This one's a large. This was not an inside out dress, by the way. This was separate. This one, I think I'm going to list around like 28. Okay, Morel. Not a brand that would really stick out. It is a good brand to pick up if you can find like a really nice condition pair of hiking boots or something like that. But this is a wool blend. It looked like kind of hmm, a longer like duffel coat, but without the duffel buttons, if that makes sense. I'm going to list this around 35. 
Uh, this was an inside out dress as well. No, it was not. This one actually came, this was found in the same bin as the Maeve dress. So this is probably from the same closet as well. Banana Republic, not a brand that I would normally pick up again. However, I really, really like the very simple um, embroidered lace, whatever you want to call it, pattern of this one. Uh, I think I'm going to list it around 23. This was an inside out dress. Um, you guys can see this little girl sticking out over here. This was an inside out dress. Mo uh, Molinette Soar Molinet Soars? Saros? Saros? Molinette Soars. Molinette Soars. Um, I'll just ring the, <laughs> ring the subscribe button when I get it right. <laughs> wow, that was the worst plug I've ever heard in my life. Moulinette Sœur. Moulinette Sœur. Okay, you guys, this is just an embroidered, really pretty dress. Um, gives me like Russian doll vibes. Um, like those nesting dolls. I'm going to list this around 60 because that is a very nice brand to find. This is a Rebecca Taylor. Is this vegan leather or leather? Isn't it pathetic? This is vegan leather. <laughs> Trust me, guys, I know what I'm doing. Um, this is a Rebecca Taylor dress. Or Rebecca Taylor dress. Um, I actually this goes really well with like that new Courtney Kardashian like um, very rich pop punk aesthetic, which is really hard for me to say out loud, but it does. Um, I think I'll list this one around thirty five to forty. This is just a really cool like early nineties color black sweater with the I always call this a corset lace just in my tag words, but obviously this is just regular lacing. Probably going to list this around 26. This, so this is funny because you guys know that Bradley, what are you doing? No, you don't need a measuring tape. Um, the t-shirt bros like trample people to get to the bins first. And one of them passed this. Like he like whipped it past him looking for a t-shirt. And I'm like, okay, buddy, it's a black label, but okay. <laughs> It is men's Ralph Lauren black label in really nice condition. This bad boy is really heavy. I don't know what I'm list it for yet, um, but this is definitely a good pickup. This is my first time finding a spiritual gangster, which was also on my bucket list. This is just a one size kimono, um, kimono robe. I don't know what I'm going to list that for yet because it is my first time finding the brand. This is an Oscar de la Renta uh, silk. I think 100% silk outer or lining, no, it's uh, silk outer um, blazer. It's a little bit oversized, which I like. Probably going to list this around hmm, 28. This is a theory dress. This was another one of the infamous inside out dresses. Um, this is just a regular black dress, but this feels like scuba material. Really heavy, so I do want to look into this. This is a seamless seamless dress so that might also give it a little bit more um uh, leeway with pricing um this is my first time finding buy together collection so this is what it looks like this reminds me of the act oh my god look at that thumb <gasps> oh i look like a plumber there's nothing wrong with plumbers by the way my um my fiance does a lot of plumbing work i'm just like this is definitely like when i think of a plumber's thumb this is what i think of okay i can't make videos anymore guys i've been on so many segues i'm sure i've lost every single every single watcher okay buy together so this is actually okay so i told you guys i was playing a really dangerous game because my phone was almost dead and it died and it's my fault because i sidetracked and segued 17 times so now i'm really gonna zoom through because I kind of like lost my train of thought while I was waiting for my phone to charge. So this is where I left off. Buy together a collection. This reminds me of Acme and Kin. Um, making sure not to show you guys my plumber's thumb. So anyway, this uh, is really bohemian. Uh, I think I'm going to list it around 30. So this is Escapada, which when I first found this brand, I was like, yeah, that's a really <laughs> terrible spinoff of Escada. But it actually is a nice brand brand kind of like a beachy resort wear brand and it does sell so I think I'm gonna list this piece around 24. This is a reversible really puffy Nike vest um is reversible obviously there's a the swoosh on each side but um I really I like how puffy it is it's very um Kanye-esque because it's kind of over the top 
This is my first time finding this brand. I don't know anything about it. It's called Tea and Cake, but it just has this really cute embroidered dino. Uh, is that a bron bronchosaurus or something like that? It says vegan, which is really cute because they're vegan. So that's real. I just think that was cute. Okay. This is um, a brand called, this is their older label, but it is Numph. N-U-M-P-H. Um, so I just found one of their cardigans, but I haven't sold it yet because I just listed it. Uh, but it's my first time finding this brand. It was my first time the other day and I just found another piece. Um, I really like the pattern on this. It's very abstract. So it could be like butterflies, clouds, like a weird iris flower, whatever you really want it to be. I think I'm going to list this around 25. This is a really cute, this is a Torrid. Um, yep, Torrid. This is a, what would you call this? Like a cage breast. Um, kind of goes like BDSM. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a, it's a cage breast uh, lingerie top. Um, I think I'll list that one around 20 to 25. We found a good old fashioned North Face woman's zip up. 18 bucks. Uh, this is a vintage single stitch. Back Bay India Pale Ale Boston Beer Works. Uh, so I don't know what's going on here. It says um, Planet Sportswear. I don't know if this is like a real thing. I have to look this up. But it was at the bins and it's um, it's definitely worth. Oh, it is brewery. Okay. So it is definitely worth looking into. This is a newer label Prana. Um, cardigan. This one's a little bit more spicy than the rest of their plain cardigans. So I think I'm going to list it at like 25 this is a Disney Parks, um, but this is brand new with tags. So uh, Disney Life. This is actually a cardigan, zip up, hoodie, whatever you want to call it. But you guys, look at the cute back. I'm obsessed with this back. Um, this Minnie Mouse. Yeah, Minnie Mouse. I think I'm going to list this one around 30 uh, because it is new with tags. So this is Harlem, and it is Disney Store uh, or Walt Disney World or whatever it's called. Yeah, Disney Parks. So got it at the parks or you either went to the store and got it either way um either way it wasn't licensed it is a disney product so this is a harley davidson jacket so this is nice um because it has front and back logo and they're like the full logos and the very classic um whatever these are called like the medallion logo um i'm gonna list this one around 30 this is a new to me brand and i still have no idea what this thing is i know it's like some sort of dress um it's okay. The brand is Mar Marcella Moda, New York. Marcella Moda, or is it Marcella Moda? Anyway, I think it's Marcella Amoda. Um, I don't know anything about the brand. It was new with tags. I quick did a comp search. It was hard for me to find anything about the brand initially. So I think I'm just gonna list it around like maybe 25 to 30. But I do have to do more research. Um, this is a another morale jacket. I picked this up because it is one of those longer jackets. And the longer jackets do sell well for me. Oh, this is exciting. This was a Ben's find. This is new label wooden ships. Is that their newer label? I think it is. But it's mohair wool and acrylic. Well, acrylic, boo. But it has the mohair, which is really nice, even though it's only like 12%. Wooden ships has a cult-like following. I think I'll be able to sell this for about $32 because of the color. And here's another, here's another one, uh, buy together collection. Um, this is just a really cute, uh, waffle knit pullover. Well, I guess you could just call it a cardigan. You don't, you don't have to pull it over. I'm going to list this around 24. So this is a 1980s top. Now, nothing special about the, um, the brand. I am very picky with 1980s. It's a dime a dozen. I think it, I understand the aesthetic, but it's not my aesthetic, so I really try not to pick it up. But I want you guys to see this. See this, okay? So this is obviously gives me kind of like a Western vibe, but not really. Like a, I don't even know how to explain it, but look at this back. Like for 1980s with the tie front, very, very cool. Um, I think I'm going to list that one around 26. Delta, Delta, Delta. This is one of those that came with all the college shirts, um, fraternity shirts. Don't know what I'm going to list that one for yet. Want to look it up. This is freaking awesome. Uh, T-A-R heel S North Carolina. So I'm guessing that's the fraternity. Um, but it has the UNC bowl. Is that a, ah, uh, it's a Ram, <laughs> I think. But yeah, that's super cool. I haven't looked any of these up. These are something that I do want to um, price on eBay first. 
This has no tag. Well, it used to. Um, I'm sure it's like probably Chico's or something really like not impressive. But either way, I hope I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it's a cool brand. Um, but no, it doesn't have the um RN that I can find either. But it's patchwork elephant uh jacket <laughs> with wooden buttons. I really love this. I think the the right buyer will find it on my Etsy or Poshmark. Um, I'm going to list it around 30. I really do love this piece and it is, it is very well made. Uh, this is a classic 1970s, I guess you could call it a house dress. Um, I could even say, I'm going to say late 1960s either way. I'm going to list that one around 29. This is a really cool fraternity shirt. Another one. Very cool. Oh, this, oh, I want to give you guys a history lesson so bad, but I know I'm running out of time. Um, this is a 1940s pair of brand new um, dead stock men's pants. So you guys know my history lessons. The zippers were invented like in the late 1800s. They were originally invented for shoes um, to zip the shoe, but they weren't mass produced until like the 50s, 60s um, on clothing, especially dresses. They started using them on things like heavy, um, heavy military jackets and stuff like that before they were actually mass produced onto like women's clothing. Um, so in, in the 19th, 1940s zippers on clothing, um, not like standard clothing, not militarized clothing, very, very um, fashion forward, uh, whatever you want to call it. So this has a zipper fly, which was, it's a Talon slide fastener. And it's very cool, you know, featuring the especially designed zipper fly. Like it's just so, so interesting. And I'm just, I'm a history geek about clothing and textiles and stuff like that. So this is just really cool. This is more of a collector's piece. Um, I don't know what I'm going to list it for yet, but it's just so cool to see that like zipper fly, like, cause you know, everything was button, you know? So it's just really cool. Um, this is just a Puma. I'm going to really skim through the bottoms here. This is just a Puma, um, pair of leggings that I normally wouldn't pick up because you know, Puma's not anything special, but I really, really, really like the netting on this. These are in like excellent condition. This is a Peruvian connection, solid color teal midi skirt. This is actually a maxi skirt. Sorry. I'm um, going to list this around 25. We've got Prana. Uh, Prana pants. Going to list these around 20. We've got some Rough Riders. So these are actually vintage. So these are like an equestrian Rough Rider by Circle T. Are these equestrian? I feel like these are these have to be riding pants. These are vintage. It just looks like they were bought and never worn. Um, so once again, very, very cool, special. Some of their stuff can sell for like 80 bucks. These I'm going to list around 40. A really cute Bowden skirt with the eyelets. Going to list this around 25. Um, this is a Leif Stotier. Uh, nice, nice, nice um, anthropology brand, I believe. Beautiful, I think, macaw cockadoos or something like that. Cock cockadoos or whatever. What are those called? Either way, I really like the tropical birds on this. I'm going to list this around 30 to 35. J. Crew, um, 100% wool business pants. I will pick up J. Crew wool business pants if they're in nice condition and if they're at the bins. Put them for like 18 bucks out the door. Um, and then we have some just black jeans. Now, I try, I really have stopped picking up white pants altogether. It's a hard sell. I don't pick up colored pants unless they're patterned or a really nice brand. I just, I have the best pants that sell for me are the straight up blue jean denim pants, but these were at the bins. So it's an exception. Just Black is a brand that sells pretty well for me. Found these two B. Mikowski bags. So it doesn't retail for too much, um, but I have sold most of the bags that I've listed. Uh, they sell for between 20 and $40. Nice butter, like buttery leather. That's what I call this. Um, very broken in buttery leather. Uh, gonna list this one around 24 and I have this adorable B. Mikowski crossbody. Um, and this one has like a horn front. It's not a buckle. It's just kind of to weigh down the front. I really love this. I'm going to list this around 25. And then I found this Kavu bag. Um, Kavu bags, you know, they do have a cult-like following still. I love my Kavu bags. This is just not my favorite pattern, so I'm not going to keep it, but it's a fold-over backpack. Um, I'm going to list this one around 20 bucks. Um, these do better on Mercari, by the way, oddly enough. Okay, I made it. I'm so sorry about all the segues. If you have made it this far... <laughs> Please keep telling me I look like Scarlett Johansson. I love you so much. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description to my Instagram, honey.rags. Stay safe, happy thrifting, and happy selling.